in this video we will do the wine festival schedule project let's start the project okay let's see uh, wine festival schedule the aguilar family is hosting their annual wine festival and they have asked you to build a web page for the event schedule use your knowledge of html to display a table to the attendees you can preview the final version at this link let's see how the final version looks like okay looks nice if you get stuck during this project or would like to see an experienced developer work through it click get help to see a project walkthrough video so let's get started with the project okay let's uh, go and see the tasks for this exercise we have 10 tasks in index.html inside of the div element that has the attribute class with a value of container create a new table element so inside of this div element let's create a new html table then add two rows inside of it using the table row element Okay, let's create two TR elements. Okay, let's mark those two tasks. Uh, inside the first table row element, from task two, add a table heading element. Inside of that, include an H1 with the following text. Okay, let's go there inside the first table row element th and then inside of that an h1 element with the content wine festival schedule inside the second table row element from test to add two ths so inside the second table row element let's create two table heading elements in the first add an h2 that says time so in the first one h2 that says time in the second add an h2 that says event so in the second one h2 that says event okay that should be all for this task uh, let's go to the next one let's click save just to see how it renders on the page okay you may notice that wine festival schedule does not stretch across the entire table you see uh, let's fix that in the opening th tag of this element add call span attribute with the value of two so right here call span equals to two now let's save you see it is stretched all the way to the end of the table okay it's completed below the closing t head tag section of the table using the table body element okay we forgot to add the t head tag so right here t head and uh, let's wrap uh, our two tr elements inside of that th tag because it is responsible for table header right here okay uh, below the closing th tag section of the table using the t table body element 
So right here we need to add the body. So we can start creating the table body. Okay. Let's click save. Nothing is changed. Yeah. Inside of the table body you created in the previous task, create five rows using the table row element. So in the T body element, let's create five TR elements. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Inside each row, create two cells using the table data element. The first table data in each row should have the attribute class with the value left. So inside of the each TR element, create two cells using the table data element or TD element. Okay, let's just copy this one. So inside each row, create two cells. So each row, two cells, table data elements. And the first table data or TD element in each row should have the attribute class with the value set to left. So right here, class attribute set to left. Let's copy this one. And let's copy on the first TD elements inside of every TR element. Okay, let's click save and see how it looks. Yeah, we missed the uh, data, the content inside of the, those TD elements. Inside each of the five TD with the class left elements, add age three elements that include the times of the events. Feel free to look back at the live site to compare. Okay, so inside of this one, age three element. So inside of the every TD element with the class left, create H3 elements. Okay. And then place this as a content. Just like in this order. Okay, now let's click save and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks just fine. Okay, and the last task inside each of the TD elements that does not have a class attribute with a value of left, add H3 elements that include the name of events. So inside of the TD elements, that does not have a class attribute. Let's add H3 element. And let's copy the content for those H3 elements. I miss one H3, so let's see, welcome reception, storytelling and tasting. So wine luncheon right here. And then Aguilar family wines right here. And then wine and cheesy tasting, cheese tasting, sorry. 
and now let's click save and see how it looks on the page and we got the pop-up messages that are saying that we completed this exercise so let's just close them so we can see the table and this is our table and how it looks on the page it looks nice everything looks just as it's supposed to be okay guys uh, thank you for being here with me in this html table section we completed all the exercises all the tasks and now let's continue to the next module on html we are still learning about html i think we have two modules left in html section so let's continue Okay, we got the message saying that we finished everything in HTML table section. Let's continue.